Hey everyone and welcome to episode 140 of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert Lewis. I will once again be your host for today's show. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch our videos. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Hopefully you're learning something. If you're new to Mr. Beer, um, we've got 140 previous videos for you to reference. Um, the best place to find the videos collectively, I think, would be on our YouTube page. Where is that, Mr. Beer on YouTube? If you want to reference our written notes. So I want to see what we are talking about in a written form. Just go to our website, mrbeer.com. Click on the blog button. You can filter by Brew Talk. There's a search feature in there. You can search your question and see if a blog post comes up. And then you can either listen to me ramble on about it or read what we've written about it as well. I uh, got a quick topic for you guys today. Uh, relatively kind of follow, kind of following the lines of topics for new brewers. Um, I did this video a while back, but I thought it would be good to redo it as we've uh, change how we structure our recipes um, over the last couple months. So what are the different stages of Mr. Beer recipes? Um, so basically we did about different stages of refills last week and that's usually the base. If you're just starting brewing with Mr. Beer, we always recommend brewing two or three refills possibly before you start moving on into recipes. It just helps you get the process down as far as sanitizing, uh, temp control, fermentation times, you know, everyone's house is different. Everyone's, you know, fermentation spots a little different. So you're going to have fluctuations there from one brew to the next. Kind of helps you dial it in a little bit so you know, hey, I can ferment for this many days. You know, I got my good water. I got my temp down. All that stuff, I'm good to go. And you can start diving into throwing in additional ingredients, hops, grains, fruit, all that good stuff. Um, so our recipes, we break down into three categories. We call them extract plus partial mash and advanced brewing recipes um advanced brewing is what is new that we didn't have before uh extract plus is basically your can of hot malt extract this is the same thing that you get with your mr beer refill a little can of hme there um and then it's some simple additional ingredients so these can be things as hops uh lmes which is liquid malt extract dmes dry malt extract uh fruit all that stuff so some recipes we have you add you know, strawberries to it. Some recipes you're going to dry hop. Some recipes you're going to do a little hot boil with maybe a little DME. Those are all kind of in that extract plus category because you're still using um, HME as a base with other simple ingredients. You're not boiling or steeping any grains or anything like that. And we have some recipes that you brew with soda that fall in this category. Uh, some recipes that you're adding, you know, different fruits additions. Some you add whiskey, oak chips, all that stuff falls into this category. Uh, the next category we talk about is kind of our partial mash category or uh, specialty grain category, steeping grains, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so with these recipes, we're adding the, the addition of grains. It's got an extra step in the process. And basically, this is where you're going to steep some grains for roughly about 30 minutes. Uh, it's what most of the recipes call for. And then these recipes usually often include additional hops, uh, fruits, and anything else. DMEs, LMEs, all the extra stuff. But it's just the, the steeping of the grains which sets these apart from the other recipes. Um, when you start getting into steeping grains, which you'll need is like, uh, you'll need a thermometer, a little bigger pot because you want to hold the right temp when you're steeping grains. So you need a thermometer, a little bigger pot, and a little more time to brew because you're about 30 minutes in that process for steeping the grains. Our last stage of recipes is, this is what's new for Mr. Beer as of uh, late last year, we launched this as our advanced recipes. This is where we're taking kind of brewing up to the next level. So if you brewed some refills, you brew some of the other categories, you're like, I want something new, a little more challenging, and check out our advanced recipe series. So these are all recipes that use an LME or a DME as a base. There's no hot malt extract used in here. So there's nothing that's pre hop that you're adding. So you have to do longer boils up front with hops to get bitterness out of your beer. Um, these boils usually about an hour long. You'll need a bigger pot. Uh, you will need a thermometer to control the temperature and obviously more time. So with, with some of these recipes, you know, you're going to take a can of LME or a packet of DME or a couple of each one um mix it up and you're gonna do hot boils and depending on the recipe you could do you know add hops at 60 minutes to boil then once you're 15 minutes into your boil you add hops at for 45 minutes and some you'll add 30 minutes some you add flame out it just depends on what you're brewing um but these are a little more complicated a little more involved take your brewing to the next level they don't use any hot moth extract like i said it's just lme and dme so you do require longer boil times and additional equipment like i mentioned so that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, it was a pretty quick episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like or a comment. Um, we really appreciate that. Make sure you're following us on all social media platforms. We are at Mr. Beer on Facebook, Instagram, and the YouTube. Um, if you want to learn more about Mr. Beer or hang out with fellow Mr. Beer brewers, join our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. Just search it on Facebook. Uh, we ask that you answer three questions. Please answer all three, then we will let you in. 
Uh, we usually let people in in batches once or twice a week, so we can give everyone a big, warm Mr. Beer Society welcome. That will wrap it up for this week, and I will talk to you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers.